Hey everybody, we're talking a little bit more about whether your patient needs a second opinion for plantar fasciitis. A lot of the time this is a really resistant condition and so you know being aware that's going to happen and sometimes we do need to get through the course of pain. Typically 90% of people are recovering within not, um, you know 18 months, a year and a half um, and that's research guided so that's great. But a lot of the time, these patients are going to be in pain during that time, um, or they could potentially have, you know, a, you know, an increased period of pain that is, you know, stopping them from doing a lot of their activities. And so, this is where a second opinion could be considered if they do have chronic plantar fasciitis. Um, if all of your treatments are failing to remove um, or resolve some of their pain, then definitely have, you know, have a bit of a chat or look at that second opinion um, for whether they might be appropriate for it. You know, if they're having high levels of pain that are impacting their activities of daily living, you know, th this is they're being able to get out of bed, they're cleaning, um, you know, cooking for themselves. And that's where it's appropriate to start looking towards a second opinion to see whether there's some more advanced non-surgical or potential surgical options that could be utilized for this patient. Really, it's Im so important to make sure that all of the conservative treatment is um, exhausted some people will be comfortable doing a lot of that. Other people might need the more specialized equipment like that we've got, um, including our photobiomodulation laser therapy, our shockwave therapy, and some of the injection therapies we undertake um, with and without ultrasound. Um, but that further opinion can really help to put the patient at ease and give them a really guided management plan towards hopefully what will be um, you know, the, the resolution of their concern. But particularly if you're finding that this pain is ongoing after 18 months um, or having recurrent episodes that are non-resolving, and then that's where a second opinion is uh, a really good option to get. Now, in saying this, if a patient comes through uh, their first session, um, they're wanting to really get a comprehensive management plan, and um, then that's where we see our patients and make sure that, yes, we're putting into place um, that conservative right through to the surgical uh, options as appropriate, depending on what they've done, um, who they've seen, um, and where the most appropriate um, you know, management is, depending on their condition, being plantar fasciitis, but whether there might be some other elements of that plantar heel pain syndrome, um, like the tarsal tunnel syndrome, like the fat pad inflammation, like our Baxter's nerve entrapment. And so really bringing all that in together as a comprehensive management plan is really important. We've talked about that in one of our other videos as well. But for the meantime, if you're finding this really interesting, hit the subscribe button, have a look at some of those other videos, um, but we'll see you in the next session. Cheers.